Hello, this is Teacher Richman and today's video we are going to learn how to subtract integers. But before we do that, let me invite you to like and subscribe on our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will not miss our future uploads. In this YouTube channel, we are going to make tutorial videos. So today we are going to learn how to subtract integers. Now, in subtracting integers, there is only one rule. But before we go to that rule, we will remind ourselves first the rules of adding integers. Now, in order for you to subtract integers, you need to be an expert of adding integers. Why? Because in the rules or in the rule of subtracting integers, you will encounter also adding integers. So, let's remind ourselves first how to add integers. We know already in our previous video that there are two rules in adding integers. The first rule is for the like signs, meaning you are going to add positive integer and positive integer. Or you are going to add both negative integers. And the second rule is for unlike signs, meaning you are going to add Positive plus negative or negative plus positive. So the first rule for unlike signs, it says that find the sum of their absolute value and use the common sign as the sign of your answer. And the second rule for unlike signs, it says that find the difference of their absolute value and use the sign of the integer with the greater value. So let's have a short activity so positive 2 plus positive 3 is equal to positive 5 and negative 7 plus negative 3 meaning they have the same sign which is negative so you will just add their absolute value and copy the common sign so therefore our answer is negative 10 and the next example here positive 5 plus negative negative 3 you see in here um, they don't have the same sign 5 here is positive and the other integer is negative so in this case you will just get the difference of both integer and copy the sign of the greater of the integer with greater value so get the difference between 5 and 3 you will have 2 which integer has a greater value it is 5 so therefore the sign of your answer is positive because 5 is positive let's proceed to the next example negative 9 plus 3 or positive 3 so all you need to do they don't have the same sign so you will just get the difference of both integer and copy the sign of an integer with greater absolute value so the answer is negative 6. So let's proceed to the rules of subtracting integers. Now we only have one rule in subtracting integers and that is change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to the addition rules. Now this is the very reason why we need to be an expert first of adding integers before we can subtract integers. Okay? So... Let's have an example. Find the difference. Let's take for example 5 minus negative 3. So based on our rule, just simply change the sign of the subtrahend. So based on the given example, which is the subtrahend? It is negative 3. So you will just change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to the addition rules. Okay, so it will become 5 plus positive 3. Why it became positive? Because based on the rules, you will just change the sign of the subtrahend, which is negative 3, into positive. So, the answer would be 5 plus 3 is equal to positive 8. So, therefore, the answer of 5 minus negative 3 is positive 8. Let's proceed to the next example. We have negative 7 minus negative 2. 
Now, we will just use the same rule, which is you, we will going to change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, the subtrahend here is negative 2. So, change it into positive and proceed to addition rules. So, it will become negative 7 plus positive 2. So, when we have this, we know how to solve this using the addition rules. Negative 7 plus positive 2. You will just get the difference of 7 and 2, which is 5, and copy the sign of the integer with greater value, which is 7. So, the sign of 7 is negative. Therefore, the sign of our answer is negative. So, our answer for negative 7 minus negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Let's proceed to the third example. Negative 5 minus positive 3. So, just simply change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition again. So, it will become negative 5 plus negative 3. Since they have the same sign and you will proceed to addition rules, so you will just add their absolute value and copy the common sign. So 5 plus 3, it is equal to 8. And what is the common sign? It is negative. So therefore, the sign of our final answer is negative. So our answer for negative 5 minus positive 3 is negative 8. So we will proceed to the fourth example. We have negative 7 minus negative 2 minus positive 12 minus negative 3. In this case, we have 3 subtrahends. So, based on the rule, you will just simply change the sign of your subtrahend and proceed to addition. So, it will become, our first subtrahend here is negative 2, so it will become positive 2. And the second subtrahend is positive 12, it will become negative 12. And the third subtrahend is negative 3, then it will become positive 3. So, perform the indicated operation, which is it will become addition. And when you go to addition, you will just simply combine integers having the same sign. So, we have negative 7 and negative 12, it will become negative 19. And we have positive 2 and positive 3 it will become positive 5. So, we have here simplified form negative, negative 19 plus positive 5. So, just simply get their difference which is 14 and the sign of your answer is negative because the, the integer with greater absolute value is 19 and it is negative. So, therefore, the sign of your answer is negative. So, the final answer for negative 7 minus negative 2 minus positive 12 minus negative 3 is negative 14. So, now it's your turn to practice. 